Hello, beautiful souls. Peace to the gods and the goddesses. Peace, love, and light. I am sending to y'all right now. Just go ahead and tap in and feel it. Just tap in and feel it. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. We have reached a thousand, over a thousand subscribers. And I'm just so, 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 so thankful for you all. Thank y'all so much for just keeping this platform one of light, one of knowledge of self, one of knowledge of truth, one of love. I mean, it's really, really a frequency. I love reading y'all's comments. I love answering y'all's questions. I love just being able to be a light and a sister and a goddess and empress for you all. So shout out to y'all. I'm going to be going through and I remember taking a picture of the thousand subscriber and I will be listing your name because I will be sending you a complimentary gift for subscribing to my channel and being a thousand subscriber. So be on, on the lookout for that. One big question that I got that I really, really like was a question from a sis and she said, how do you know you have exited the matrix? How do you know you have exited the matrix. That's a really, really, really good question. And one that I'm sure a lot of you all have, especially during this time. You know, we keep hearing people talk about the chosen ones, um, exit the matrix, the great exodus, the great awakening, um, revelation 2020, apocalypse 2020. So you're obviously the, the question is, damn, am I out of this shit? How do I know that I'm out of the matrix? If I'm still in it, then I'm gonna be left behind. How do I know that I'm not in this shit? Because I don't want to get left behind. So in order to know that you've exited the matrix, first you have to know what the matrix is. You have to know what it is. You have to know the deeper meaning of it. That way you can know whether or not you are still subjected to it or whether or not you have risen above it. Okay, so the matrix is a programming. It is a state of consciousness, okay? It's not like a place, <laughs> okay? A particular place because it's it's it, the consciousness, the state of being, the programming, it's, it's everywhere. This is how this works. All is mind. All is mental. All is consciousness. Everything, everything began and begins and will forever be from thought everything you are a cosmic thought and you are continuing to create through thought all right you're looking at me through your phone all right look at your phone right now that phone was once in somebody's head more than likely steve jobs okay that phone was once someone's thought we're on this YouTube uh, channel platform, all right? This YouTube platform was once someone's thought. You were once a thought. <laughs> you were once a, a someone's consciousness, your parents thought, okay? Everything, everything, this, 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 all of it, me, all of you, everything is thought. It began with thought, okay? So the matrix is a programming of thought it's a state of consciousness it's a mind state all right you were born in sin and shaped by iniquity you were born into this matrix into this programming all right more than likely your parents were, were still in the matrix they had you and they taught you programming you were programmed by the system all right so and that is what sin is. Sin is separation from source. It's separation from truth. It's separation from knowledge of self, who you really are, okay? And you you subject yourself to the programming of the world, or it says like carnality, you know, that's what it says in the B-I-B-L-E. You know, the carnal mindset cannot perceive the mindset of truth it can't because it's set it's a it's a mindset that's set on carnality which the matrix all right so how do you know that you've exited the matrix well you change it's, it's a new program you're in a new state of thinking you're in a new state of consciousness 
All right. It's not, it's not a place. It's not a thing. It's not, it's not even anything physical. It's, it's, it's a mindset. It's a state of thinking. It's a state of being. And this is why, you know, it doesn't matter if you have all these tools. It doesn't matter if you have sage. It doesn't matter if you have crystals. It doesn't matter if you, you know, do all these things that are like make yourself vegan, whatever. It doesn't matter if you are still subjected to the mindset and the programming of that system. And the matrix is a system that goes against, it defies what it is that we really are, who we really are. It goes against your true nature. All right. So, um, for instance, you, your nature, our nature is to love. That is our nature. Our nature is to love. The matrix, however, though, programs you to be jaded, to be hard, because it shows you constantly through the media, through social media, through just the, 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 the celebrities and shit. It's constantly showing you fighting, not being along, not getting along with each other on the news. That's all you see is fighting, people protesting, people rioting, people killing each other, blah, blah, blah. So they're constantly putting that out there in your face to keep you in that programming. Okay, and to keep you against your natural nature, which is love. That is your natural, like, way is love. You came here knowing love. All right. So the matrix is set against that. All right. So how you know that you've exited the matrix is you have a transformed mind. You have a transformed state of consciousness. OK, and through that, through the transform mind, through the transform state of consciousness, your life will echo that transformation. OK, so things you will change. You will literally transform and you will go from glory to glory to glory, meaning higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher, and higher, and higher within your manifestations and within your evolutionary process, because you're no longer bound by that consciousness, by that programming, by that limiting um, belief, those limiting beliefs, okay? Because the matrix is very, 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 very limiting. Like it teaches you, okay, all you gotta, all you can do is you're born, you go to school for 12 years, then you get a piece of paper, then you go to another school, you go to college and you get your degree and this is what's going to make you successful. Then you work in this cubicle for 40 to 50 years, then you retire and you get a pension, then you die. That is the matrix. That is what the matrix, that, that is the belief and the consciousness and the programming of the matrix. And it's just not true. It's not the truth and it's not fulfilling. And you know, you, 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 you're miserable. You know what I'm saying? You're miserable. So the truth is though, however, when you exit the, when you exit the matrix, you will start to live in accordance with your purpose, with your soul destiny, with your soul essence. And you will begin to walk and talk and flow and be in your natural state. Okay. And you don't, you don't subject yourself to the lies of the matrix. There's, you can become, it, you can become extremely wealthy and rich without a degree. <laughs> People do it all the time. You can become extremely, you can be extremely prosperous doing what you love. You don't have to subject yourself to that state of consciousness. All right. So, but there are people that are entrepreneurs that are still bound by the matrix. They just may be bound by it in different ways. Like for instance, you may, you may have your own business and make your own money and you know, that's how you provide for yourself, but you may still be programmed by the matrix when it comes to black men and when it comes to love. OK, you may have the relationship and, you know, you uh, you have the business, but you're still programmed by the matrix when it comes to food and what it is that you put in your body. 
All right. So it's not just like a thing like you're just out of it all the way. You know, it's a process and there's different aspects and levels of it. It's because it's a because it is a thought form. It is a consciousness. This is why a lot of, you know, quote unquote, woke women that, you know, they say they're woke and stuff and they have their crystals and they do all their Oshuns and stuff. But there are many of them are still programmed. Many are still programmed by the matrix and they're still in the matrix and just in different ways. They're still programmed. They may, they may still be programmed when it comes to themselves and when it comes to love and when it comes to, um, relationships, when it comes to black men, if you believe that black men ain't shit or black women ain't shit or whatever, you have that toxic ass, pro you are still in the matrix. It doesn't matter. You can be vegan up to the damn, damn, uh, sky shit. It doesn't matter if you, carry those negative programmings that are from that consciousness and you continue to live that out you are still in the matrix all right so the way that you know that you've exited is you have a transformed mind you are renewed and you are transformed because you have changed your mind because remember the matrix is a mindset it is a state of mind all is mental, all is, is thought, okay? So it is a state of mind, all right? So when you have exited the matrix, your life will echo it in all areas, okay? With health, with relationships, sorry, y'all, with um, yourself, with your, uh, you know, business, how you do, how you make money, whatever it will be, it will show itself in all forms. All right. And I keep going back to these, those, those scriptures, because a lot of it is in that book. It's just, we can't see it and perceive it through the correct lens because we've been, in, we've interpreted the wrong way, but there's this scripture that says, you know, a tree by its fruit. OK, you know, a person and where they are in their state of mind through their lives, through their lifestyle, through the things that they do, through the things that they say, through the things that they post, through the things that they, you know, how they act, whatever. So, you know where someone's at based on their fruit. OK, so, for instance, with religious programming, there is no way there is no way you are out of that matrix if you are still bound by religion it's impossible it's impossible religion is of the matrix religion is a programming within the matrix to keep you bound and limited in believing that there's something outside of you that's making all these things happen to you and that you're just this 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 being feeble being out here having to just go through life you know and whatever happens to you or doesn't happen to you is God's will. That's bullshit. You're in the matrix. You're programmed. You are programmed. And this is why it's so, 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 so like, it's kind of scary because it's like, there's so many people, you know, in the church and um, in that, in the religious programming. And they, they really think like they're, they're not in carnality, but they are. That's of the world system. Religion and the 501c3s, all of that stuff, that's all a part of that carnality. It's all a part of that system. Just because you, you go to a building and you sing songs and you serve or whatever, doesn't mean that you have been transformed at all. It doesn't mean it at all. Just because you do all these quote unquote righteous deeds does not mean shit. You're just doing righteous deeds, but you're still in that matrix. You're still bound by that consciousness, by that programming, because you have not transformed your mind. You have not gone within and renewed and transformed your mind. Okay. And you are still obliged. You're still obliged and subjected to that matrix because religion was created by the matrix. You are not, you, you. You are not free if you are religious. There's no way. The religion goes against freedom. Literally, it goes against it. Now, it's there and it can be used. That's the thing, too. The things within the matrix can be used to lead you out of it. You know, I'm, I'm a firm, firm, firm believer that religious programming is what led me to where I am today. 
It really did. And, and, and now that I'm here, I can look back and use some of those things that I learned from that and, and use it to realize, okay, this is what it really means. This is what it really means to, uh, be out of that carnal system. This is what it really means. It's not me being up in my house all day in the closet reading the damn Bible and praying or whatever to this Jesus in the sky. That's not it. It's not me going to the homeless shelter, feeding the homeless. That's not it. That's not it. What it is, is it's me knowing that I am the power. The power is within me through my thoughts. My thought is what creates my reality. So if I want to change my reality, I change my thinking. I align my thinking with truth of who I am. I align my thinking with knowledge of self. I align my thinking with love and goodness. And then from there, your life will echo that. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of people in church that are, that are miserable, miserable and bound. They're limited and they're bound. Very, very bound. And it's because they're still in the matrix. They're still in the matrix. There's lots of quote unquote woke people, people that, you know, Hebrew Israelites, you know, shit, whatever you want to call them. A lot of people that are woke, woke. And they're, they're, they're limited. They're still bound because they still carry the programming of the world system, the matrix. So how you know you've exited the matrix? You are the power within your life. You are the source within your life. You recognize that. You know that. And through that, you begin to align yourself with the things that you desire to see manifested. See, and this is why people that have exited the matrix and have made the exodus, it's so, they vibrate at a different frequency because their thoughts are at a different frequency. Our thoughts are not aligned with that system. We, vi we think higher, okay? So by us thinking higher, we vibrate higher. And by us vibrating higher, our life, echoes higher like things you know it just does all right so that's how you know you've exited the matrix all right go ahead and like comment and subscribe if you have any questions then you can drop them below if you have any feedback or extra things to add to this then go ahead and comment down below and send me y'all's questions to releasing to rise at gmail.com y'all can send me y'all's questions for q a wednesday and i will do a video answering that or if you have any videos that you want me to review then send me those too at releasing the rise at gmail.com i'm sending y'all so much love light peace and knowledge bye